Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I have filmed and I was on Instagram this morning and I got two DMs in a row asking if I would do an updated favorites, like stuff I'm loving right now or like holiday pics. Um, and it caught me thinking like, oh my God, I need to get back on YouTube. Things have just been so crazy with work, a lot of really cool stuff happening for Lawless that I can tell you about very soon. So I'm super excited about that and just the holidays and product development and all the crazy stuff happening behind the scenes has kind of eaten up most of my time. And I've been traveling a lot. This last week I was in New York for work and it was like a blizzard. It was a total snowstorm and obviously this Cali girl was not the most prepared, um, but I came home sick. I was sick all weekend and I woke up this morning and was like, you know what? I should get on YouTube and film some of my current favorites. I have so much good stuff piled up here and I just love going through products. You guys know I'm nosy and I love knowing what you guys are into. Favorites are like my OG YouTube favorite videos to watch. After I share my favorites, be sure to leave yours in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe now to see more videos from me. Um, one of my goals for the new year is really to amp up my filming schedule and I'll definitely be able to with some of the changes happening at Lawless. So. I'm really excited about it and I think it's all going to be really good stuff that you guys are also going to love. Let's just get into these favorites because I've got a lot of stuff, you guys. I am a hoarder. I'm a product person. I like to try new things. So sometimes I go overboard. I just buy everything. I have a lot of favorites, but these are the things that have really been helping me get through the holidays, the winter weather, um, just the little comfort things. I have a mixture of makeup, beauty stuff, skincare. Um, even body wash, uh, fashion favorites. So I've got a wide range of things. So I've really been going to um, these three in particular that have just really been like my go-tos every single day. And this first one is the little one eyeshadow palette. This is the latest drop from Lawless. This is a mini palette and it has eight shades of neutrals in here. And as you guys can see, um, this is sort of the same color story as the larger palette, but it's definitely not the same. So it doesn't have those berries from the bottom row. I really just pulled out those staple neutrals and made tweaks to them. So no two shades in here are the same as in the large palette, except for first base, this kind of creamy white matte shade that I feel is so essential for just setting down your eyeshadow base and making sure that everything you put on top of it blends seamlessly. And this black shade called Plunge, which I feel is so essential in a mini palette because when you only have eight shades to work with and you're traveling, I feel like every single shade in here needs to be necessary and essential. Um, I don't wanna mess around and put like that random blue or purple or green. Like if I only have eight shades, I'm on a trip, this is what I'm actually using. So it's got this really beautiful pale gold shade, this really nice, not too warm copper. It's sort of like a champagne copper. Um, this sort of like burnt orange sort of shade, the Sienna sort of like terracotta orange shade, this cooler deep brown, this cooler uh, kind of mid-tone milk chocolate brown, and it's just been everything I've been using. On every trip, it's all I have to take. It's so compact, it's lightweight, it has a mirror, um, it's 25 bucks, so it's an amazing gift for a holiday as like a stocking stuffer. I feel like these tones would work on everyone too. Um, it's not like skin tone specific, so it's just been a really big staple in my routine lately, and I find that I've been reaching for it pretty much exclusively. The next ones are the bronzers, but I have two shades. This one is Blazed. And this is the deeper shade with a little bit more of like a reddish warm undertone. And this one is Golden Hour. And the reason both of them have been so heavily used by me, I'm obviously not a super deep skin tone, but I'm also not super fair. I have an olive undertone, but what I've been doing is taking my brush and swirling it through this one because I've definitely been getting a lot less sun since it's been cooler. And then to avoid it from being like way too intense and stamping a deep like stamp of bronzer on my cheek that I can't blend out, I've then been going in here with my brush to sort of like diffuse it and dust some of this off. And I feel like mixed together, it's just like my perfect bronzer shade for this time of year when I wanna go extra bronze to really warm up my skin and kind of like simulate that tan that I'm not getting. Um, I've also really been using this shade to contour because it's not as warm, it's more neutral. So 
when I don't want a super severe contour and go in with like a standard gray contour shade that I think a lot of brands offer, I'll go in with this and just an extra concentrated smaller brush and just focus it right here on the hollows of my cheekbones. Um, so I'll take it up like kind of in my temples here and I'll even do it on the sides of my nose. I did that today. Um, but I feel like it's a really nice subtle bronzer shade or contour shade and since I've used it as a bronzer everywhere else, it sort of like blends into it easily and gives this really nice diffused effortless contour that you kind of can't tell. Um, that someone deliberately contoured when they have it on, but I feel like it just works really nicely for that. So these two have been on super heavy rotation. And then the last Lawless favorite kind of goes hand in hand with Blazed, um, and that is our highlight, Afternoon Delight. It's this beautiful, like, universal champagne golden color. But what I've been doing with this that I discovered or started doing um, for most nights out that I didn't used to do as much is mixing these two together. So I take a really short, dense kabuki brush, um, almost like a foundation brush. If you guys have like that Tarte one that's super like dense, um, I think it's for foundation. It's like got the wood handle. That's the one I've been using. But I'll swirl it around in here and do it all over my chest and kind of neck and decolletage area um, for like nights out, going out, anytime it's gonna be exposed. Cause like I said, I have not been getting a tan outside. And I feel like sometimes it's useless to tan my entire body when I'm wearing like jeans and shirts that are long sleeved and turtlenecks. So a lot of times my tan is super behind. So what I've been doing is going in with that on my chest and then going over it all over, not just on my collarbones, with this to give that really beautiful glowy luminosity. And I feel like it just makes my skin look like it's really hydrated and glowy and bronzy and I find it to be very sexy. I just love the way it hits the light. I love the way it looks in photos when I see them later. So this combo has been really nice to just kind of like wake up winter skin when I'm going out and just sort of need to like spot bronze and glow. The next one is skincare and I have two sizes of this. I'm so obsessed. Um, you guys know I love face mists, and this is the Avain, Avin, um, it's in French. It's thermal spring water mist, and it's soothing and softening. It's for sensitive skin, and I actually discovered this when I was traveling in Europe over the summer, and I bought this size in like a French pharmacy because I really needed a face mist. Um, mine had run out on the trip, and I think I had the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which is kind of, has a little bit of oil in it, so I kind of just wanted like a water mist to sort of refresh on the plane, on the go, set my makeup, whatever. And I bought this and I was so obsessed with the mister on it. It's so even and fine. I just love it so much. So I bought the full size and I've been using this every single day after I cleanse and tone my skin. I've been misting with this. I use it at the end of my makeup. I spray it on my beauty blender if it gets a little bit too dry while I'm blending. I use it at the end of my makeup. I use it during the day to refresh. I use it on planes when I feel like my skin's dehydrated. It's just such a refreshing spray and it's so straightforward. I feel like a lot of face mists right now have so many ingredients and a lot of different things in them, which sometimes I love. I love a little bit of oil. I love a scent. You know, sometimes it can really change the mist into a different experience that makes it really nice. Um, and gives a more glowy, dewy effect, but I just have kind of been loving the straightforward, this is just straight up water, I think it's the only ingredient, mineral water, and I just think it's so nice. So I've been loving this. If any of you are looking for a super basic face mist that's just water, if you're sensitive, no fragrance, that has a really great mist, I highly recommend this. The next skincare favorite I've been loving is this Herbivore Lapis Balancing Facial Oil. This is just my travel size and I love this because it's really great if you are acne prone at all. So I'm dry, I have dehydrated skin, but I'm oily. So I do produce oil, but I have dehydrated patches that look dry. So I'm always looking how I can hydrate my skin but combat the oil or acne prone areas. And this clarifying oil that's really balancing is so great. It does not make me break out. It doesn't give me any sort of texture or clog my pores. It doesn't make me greasy. It sinks in super fast. But when I put this on at night when I feel like my skin is starting to act up and I sense a breakout or if it's like that time of the month or I'm having just stress, this takes it away by the next day. Like I notice I wake up with super supple, smooth skin. It really smooths it out. And anything that I feel like is coming up just kind of is calmed down by the morning. So it's a really great oil for any of you that are scared of oils because you feel like they're gonna break you out or you're oily um, to try just because it's such a great oil for people that are acne prone. So I've been loving this. It's been my go-to recently, especially with travel and my skin's been a little bit up and down. Um, it really does balance it out. This next one is a body wash, and you're probably like, okay, how much can you love a body wash? You use it for probably like 15 seconds in the shower every day, but I'm telling you, I'm obsessed. 
mostly because of the scent, but I also love the consistency and the lather. This is Lalabo Sesame Shower Gel. This scent is so great. It's really unique. It's not too girly. It's not sweet. It's almost got like a sea salt and like umami scent to it, but not in a gross way. It is so refreshing and so light. It's like sea salt mixed with a little bit of like citrus and floral and like an umami. It's just a really mysterious, cool scent. And I love the Lavo scent. Centol 33 has been one of my go-to perfumes forever. Um, so when I discovered this, I was really excited to try it and it totally lives up to my expectations. It's such a great scent. It's really, I like that it's kind of a clear, not super creamy formula. So you feel like you're really getting clean and it doesn't leave that like overly hydrated residue and it really lathers nicely so you don't need to use a ton to get a really great lather and I just have been really liking it so and it's unisex by the way my husband likes this too um, so if you like to share your body wash with your man and you just want to keep one in the shower that you guys can both use this is a great option the next body fave is this organic Shayna skincare oil and you guys know I love Shay I've used Shay oil forever but I thought it was worth mentioning because as it's been getting colder I've been using a lot more oils and overly hydrating my skin to combat the dryness that the winters brought on um, and I've just been using this non-stop. I also, so today my hair I did wash it but I haven't done any like heat thing to it. I did blow dry it because I don't know if you can see here, my hair is naturally wavy and sometimes around my face if it's already dried I can't get it with the blow dryer unless I go in with like a straightener which I haven't done yet today but when my hair is puffy like this after drying it, um, I have a lot of hair. It's fine, but I have a lot of it and sometimes it just kind of gets too like big and puffy after blow drying and I want something to like smooth it out and make it glossy and I put this in it makes it shine um, I feel like it really hydrates but it's so lightweight and I also feel like it's a great heat protectant um, and then at the same time I can use it all over my body so it's really great Shea is non comedogenic so you can even use it on your face um, it's not gonna break you out it's not a super heavy oil the molecules aren't big like coconut oil where it's hard for them to penetrate in your skin and clog your pores this really sinks in it never breaks me out it doesn't feel greasy throughout the day and I just love putting it all over at night and then putting like pajamas or a robe on top and letting it sink in I feel like it's so hydrating and so perfect for my skin type it's never irritated me it's so neutral on my skin and it just feels so soothing and like I said I love how multi-purpose it is that I can use it on a lot of different parts of my body whether it's my hair my skin my nails my lashes my face so I highly recommend this if you're looking for a great moisturizer that is super hydrating but lightweight at the same time. My next favorite is a candle and I'm obsessed with candles. I think I told you guys about my love for the Anthropology pumpkin candle that comes out every year. I have like five of those downstairs so that's still on heavy rotation like burning strong in this household for holiday time. I kind of can't not. It's a tradition now. Um, everyone in my house knows that scent like we just know when it's coming out. It's like time to get festive but this one is Jo Malone Incense and Embers. And this is such a unique scent, you guys. And the reason I think I'm so drawn to it is it reminds me of a kid in Catholic school. I went to Catholic school growing up, grade school and high school. I went to an all-girls private Catholic high school. We had to go to mass every Friday. Then we had reconciliations once a month. And we were always in the church. Um, we had certain classes in church. We did all of our like um, holiday things in church. So this incense and ember scent the embers gives it that really nice like woody holiday scent, like that kind of earthy, oaky vibe. So it's perfect for this time of year, but the incense, I swear, smells like the church that I went to. Shout out to St. Thomas. Um, and now I'm Jewish because I converted when I got married. So that's how far my Catholic education went. But the scent still is very nostalgic for me. It brings back a lot of really great memories of being a kid and being in church with my friends and holiday times where we would sing like all the holiday songs and communion and just all the big life moments happened at mass and in that church. And I just find it to be so like kind of smoky and um, sort of like oriental in a really familiar way for me. I can't explain it. I texted my brother and sister the second I got this candle because I was like, you guys, if there's ever a scent to smell like mass growing up, 
this is it like you have to buy it because it will bring back all the feels you know just it kind of got me in the festive spirit and brought back good vibes so this candle is really great if you're looking something that's like not your typical holiday scent but perfect for this time of year that's sort of deep and mysterious and smoky that is great if you have guests over and you kind of want them to wonder what that is oh Just a sec. <laughs> sorry nobody's talking to you creepy I do have one more Lawless favorite, and that is this gloss glazed. So we released glosses the same time as bronzers over the summer, and they were instantly sold out, and I'm really sorry about that. We really undershot the mark on quantities there, um, but they're all back in stock now on Sephora and shortly on lawlessbeauty.com. But this shade in particular has been probably my most used recently because I just love this time of year. It kind of adds that festive flair, but I'm such a neutrals and nude um, lip kind of girl that I find it just it's kind of a chameleon shade. It goes really well over everything and just gives that like really nice sheen. So it's kind of like a pearlescent, um, sort of like oystery pink. It's the one metallic in the range, but you, I'll see if you can see it here, but it just kind of get, I'm wearing it already, but let me like top it off to see if you can tell any difference. It just kind of gives that iridescence that catches the light and makes your lips look so supple and so juicy. Um, I really love this and see that sheen and like I said it's such a chameleon shade so it won't like F up whatever lipstick you have underneath it it's so kind of like transparent in that way it's not overly opaque where you put this on and you're gonna completely like block out what you have under so if I put a nude lip on and I put this on top it literally is it's called glaze but it's like the glaze on a donut or like the icing on a cake it just kind of like tops it all off and gives that really beautiful opalescent sheen and I feel like this time of year that's a great way to like amp up your look for holidays if you're not the red lip kind of girl or someone super adventurous that's gonna go for a bold lip it really does just give that extra sun sun you know to your nude lip and I've just been loving it I think it's so beautiful it's so glossy and sheeny and just feels very healthy and pouty glow so I highly recommend Glaze for my nude lip girls out there that want something to zhuzh up your nude lipstick without having to like change colors or go super dark or bold. This next favorite is a bag. And you guys, I know this is bougie, but I wanna share it with you because I feel like I've been on a quest for a bag like this, or I guess that serves this function or need in my life for a couple years now. And I have a lot of bags. I've been using a lot of different tote bags, but none of them quite work. Um, for travel and so because I found this and I'm really happy with it and I've used it like you know five to seven times now and it's working out so well for me I did want to share it with you in case any of you are in the market for this for me bags are such an investment I'm not someone that buys cheap ba bags um, but I don't buy a ton of bags so instead of having like five cheaper bags I would rather buy one great bag a year and wear the shit out of it like I really want the most bang for my buck and I want to love the bag and you know have it be something that I like reach for every time I'm packing up so this is my recent purchase and this is YSL and it's a huge bag so this is not like your everyday or like date night or going out bag this is like a big ass bag you guys but the reason I got it is for travel I wanted something with so this has a double chain but I wanted something that could go over my suitcase bar so this can do that um, and sit on top of my suitcase I wanted something that I wouldn't worry about structured image so that was my biggest thing I have a lot of the fabric Chanel totes and I have a lot of um, like leather Chanel totes but I feel like I'm damaging the structure when I shove my computer in in my notebook and this is strictly like a work bag for me so whenever I have a work trip I always need my computer materials lab samples notebooks and all that stuff that I don't want to check because I'm not comfortable putting my laptop in a bag so and on the plane I need it so I don't want to put it in my rolling carry-on and then have to pull it down grab it all out I just like to have it in my purse so and then I can take this to meetings with everything I need and the reason this is so great is on the inside I still have all my crap in there um, it's got this center divider so my computer my MacBook Air fits completely in here I just slide it right in I've also got my notebook in here um, and then I've got my toiletry bag in here my keys are stuck to it um, I just use this sorry guys I should have like emptied it out so I could show you properly and you wouldn't have to like seal the dirty crap in my bag but 
it's just working so well you guys like I can't explain it it's so durable you, you don't have to worry about messing this bag up and in the big scheme of luxury goods YSL is not a Birkin it's not a Chanel so yes it's incredibly pricey I'm not undermining that at all like it's an investment it took me a few months to like spring and actually get this bag so I was like do I need to get a bag just for travel just for work I have so many tote bags I'm being ridiculous but I want to protect my investment on some of my other bags that really aren't intended to be beat up like this one um, even though it's not caviar and you can see it's kind of a smooth leather it's got some sort of glaze to it this thing cannot get scratched like I have beat this up so far it does not scratch so that's another really great thing that I was super nervous about when I saw the um, I bought this online when I saw the picture online I was like oh that looks so supple like Chanel lambskin if any of you know you like pull your keys out and accidentally like a key hits the flap when you're like oh I'm so sorry and it's like got a scratch forever and you're like oh my god what did I do this bag is not like that so it's very durable I find that it's pretty understated it's not overly logoed but it's still nice and professional and polished if you do want that nice work bag to show up to meetings and feel like you're really put together um, but it's just such a useful bag so if any of you are looking for a great work travel bag that literally you can slide your MacBook right in your notebook your toiletry bag anything you need flap it up and then you can put it on your suitcase put this over the bar walk through the airport it's just so easy so I've been loving this bag I'll link it like I said I know it's an investment but if you are in the market um, it's the best thing I found recently for my lifestyle um, that works super well for travel. Okay, this next one's a weird one, but it's kind of life-changing. If any of you are vegan or just like to cook plant-based and you're into tofu, I recently got this Tofuture um, tofu press. And I cook tofu a lot. I like to do like stir fries. I put like tamari and sesame oil and veggies and rice. Um, I like to roast it with nutritional yeast and tamari. Um, I like to put it in salads. Like I use it for a lot of different things. It's a great vegan source of protein. And this time of year as I'm wanting more warm and cooked foods, I've been making a lot more tofu. And I used to just kind of like drain it as well as I could, press it with towels. It's kind of annoying. This makes it so easy. The water's all caught in here. You set the tofu block in here, and then you put this on top of it. And then you press this down, and it has these little bands on the side, and you just decide how far you wanna press. I usually go to the full one. And then I just put it in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight, and then come back to cook dinner or whatever, and pull it out. And it's so much more effective at draining the tofu than like pressing it together with towels aggressively like I used to. Um, and I'm such a last minute planner when it comes to my meals sometimes. So like it sucks when you wanna cook tofu and you haven't done any pressing. So you kind of are trying to squeeze all the water out and it's still kind of like soggy and liquidy. Um, so this is great. I just always keep a block of tofu in the fridge in this. And then when I'm ready to use it, I know I always have a pressed block. It seems so simple and down but it's like life-changing it's one of those things that if you are vegan vegetarian or you do cook a lot of plant-based meals using tofu um, you'll get a ton of use out of it and it's super cheap I got it on Amazon I will link it below this next favorite is a tea and obviously with the colder weather um, I've been drinking a lot more like warm drinks teas uh, but I notice I don't sleep well at night if I drink coffee past like noon morning is like my coffee time so I've been switching to tea and this Tulsi turmeric ginger tea has been my absolute favorite it's so good I love ginger tea in general but the turmeric ginger gives it that extra little like spice and turmeric so antioxidant heavy that it just makes me feel good knowing that I've got this extra ingredient in there that's really like healthy and good to consume every day um, ginger tea is so great for settling your tummy I personally find it super soothing I like to drink it at night after dinner to help with digestion but it's just really nice after dinner and I've been enjoying it so much and it's caffeine free which is great so um, it's stress relieving harmonizing caffeine free and I've just been really liking it and I like this brand a lot they make really good teas I get this at Whole Foods um, but I'm pretty sure you can get it online too so if you're looking for a good herbal tea that's a little bit different than your traditional ginger check this one out if you like kind of like that spicy sort of thing with a little bit of a bite this one is a great one to try this next one is a facial tool and this is my gua sha 
This one is by Skin Gym. It's a rose quartz um, facial gua sha tool. And basically what you do with this, it's similar to like a roller, but I actually like this more. So it's sort of like perfectly cut for the contours of your face. And I find that it really helps me de-puff in the morning and drain better than my roller. I have a jade roller and a rose quartz roller, but I find this to be amazing when I really need to de-puff. So basically you take this and it kind of like hugs your cheekbone here, if you can see, but you just slide it out. I do this several times, take it on the jawline and see it just fits right in there and you just go and move all the fluid up. And then I like to take it down just to make sure it's like draining. Then I do the same thing here to help like to find the jawline. You know, when you wake up and you're puffy and you're like, where's my jaw? Where's my cheekbones? Where's my face? And it just all looks like one big potato. Um, this is so nice in the morning and I just do that here. I like to take it right up here and just like really massage this muscle and just like take that out. I take it up my neck all over here and then I like to take it out and down. Um, but I just, it feels so good. That's the other thing, like even if it didn't do anything for me, it just feels so good and it's a nice thing to do in the morning. And I like to do this right after I put my serum on and then I just kind of use this to massage the serum in and the serum gives this something nice to glide over so you're not tugging at or pulling at your skin. But I feel like it helps my skincare absorb better. I feel like it's a really nice meditative thing to do in the morning. It's like a moment of self-care. It feels good, it gets the blood in the face moving, the fluids in the face moving, Moving. I feel like it clears my lymphatic system and even if it's psychological it's just one of those things that like makes me feel good and now I'm at the point where I can't really start my day without it it's kind of just become a total habit so I would say this is a definite favorite I have a lot of saved up stuff you guys like I haven't filmed in so long that I just got a lot of stuff I want to share with you so this next one is like shoes I've had on repeat and this is so like basic B there's definitely nothing like innovative about this everyone has these but it's worth mentioning because I'm not a flats girl but we all need flats it's like practical for our daily lives um, when I'm home working there's no way I'm running around in heels for the fun of it so these Gucci loafers I have them in these two colorways and I also have the ones that are the mules without the back um, but I'm specifically talking about these today because I feel like the ones without the back are great But they're definitely a little bit more like summery. They're cute with shorts These in particular are just such a basic old-school loafer I feel I mean you can see I've worn them so much, but they're just like they're so classic They kind of remind me of like another time like um, I don't know like not penny loafer era, but they're just so classic There's nothing overly ornate or fancy about them, but with jeans and like a white button-down or like you know black skinnies and a black turtleneck they just look so sharp and polished and put together but they're so comfortable this back part is foldable and soft so it never digs in um, and I just think that there's such a great like travel shoe work shoe everyday errand kind of shoe when you don't want to wear like tennies or like anything that's overly grubby but you also don't want to wear anything that with a heel that's uncomfortable for day-to-day -day errands I just think it's so polished and put together and smart so I love this pair in black I got this first and then I was wearing them so much I was like ready to expand the collection so I got this really fun logoed pair um, I like that it's brown because it means the canvas won't get too stained I mean I've worn these a ton and you can't see any stains because it just kind of hides them um, but this really cute kind of beige logo I feel like it's still pretty understated for a logo shoe it's not like black and white like boom in your face it's sort of like a neutral still but this one's really cute with white jeans and like a winter white chunky sweater um, I also think it's really cute with like regular denim and like a white tee it just kind of gives that extra pop of accessory to kind of like jazz up a basic look but again I feel like this shape and the horse fit detail um, it's just so smart and um, nice and polished and as you can see I've worn these quite a bit as well so I've really been loving these they're a great go-to flat shoe that I feel like it's still stylish but also practical and as someone that doesn't love flats like I feel like a lot of flats have a little bit more of like a matronly vibe to them so I'm always on the hunt for like flats that still feel stylish and young but polished and comfortable at the same time so that's why I got these in two colors and if you're looking for a shoe like that I highly recommend okay finally on the last one and this one is one of my most worn things just because I spend a lot of time um, in my snugglies but this is a robe and it's gonna be really hard to show you this on camera but it's a really soft plushy like velour kind of robe um, by the brand skin and a couple things about this I love the color 
I have a lot of soft robes. This is probably the softest one I've ever found. Um, and I also just feel like when I'm home and I'm wearing snugglies, it's so easy to get in that mode of like grungy sweats. You have your favorite like old high school track sweat pants and all of that. But I really love making myself put on something cute that I feel cute in um, that kind of gets me from like going too far into grunge mode even when I'm home. So I've been loving this robe. So even though I'm specifically talking about this robe, in general, a comfy robe is just a fall favorite for me any year, um, and I highly recommend getting one, even if it's not this brand, this particular style. I just feel like it's one of those things that is so useful to have when you get home. The first thing I want to do is like take off my work clothes, get comfortable, and I put something like this on. Um, I cook dinner in this sometimes. It's the first thing I put on in the morning when I want to like warm up and I go get my coffee or tea. Um, so I just love this robe so much, and I've been through so many cozy robes. There's a lot of great ones. I used to have a Barefoot Dreams one that I was obsessed with. I've had a lot of different ones, but I would say this is my favorite one ever. It's got this really nice, like, kind of warm, minky color, um, and it's just so soft. It's incredibly soft. I really like this brand, Skin. They make a lot of really nice, like, pajama sets. They have organic cotton things, um, and so this robe is amazing. I will link it below if I can find it. Um, otherwise, I'll link some alternatives. Okay, guys. Congratulations, we made it to the end. Thank you so much if you're still here. I know this was a long video, but I'm a little rusty, so I just wanted to get back here on film, and I just grabbed a bunch of crap that I've been obsessed with and I wanted to share with you. So I hope you guys have been awesome. I am so excited to be filming again. I'm hoping to be super consistent um, as I ramp back up and try to film at least once or twice a week, and then hopefully, um, once I can tell you guys a lot of the great news about things happening with Lawless, um, my schedule will be freed up to film a lot more frequently. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking with me with my erratic filming schedule. I really appreciate you. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season so far. And don't forget to leave me your favorites below because I love discovering new things. I love knowing what other people are using. Um, and I feel like we really help each other out that way because it's like those oddball little discoveries like, you know, a tofu press that you wouldn't go looking for, but when someone like brings it to your attention and how awesome it is, it's like, oh my gosh, this $14 gadget is so useful and I'm so happy to have it in my life so I love you to share those little things with each other and with me below that you've been loving in your life that have been game changers and I will see you guys in the next video also before I let you go um, please leave your top like three videos that you'd like to see from me in order of priority. Um, whenever I ask this question, it's just so hard because I get like an influx of a lot of different things all over the place, so I never really know like what things to focus on. So if we go like order one to three, um, then I'll know like, okay, this is like number one, what they wanna see, so I can kind of prioritize time-wise like what to film first and kind of work my way through. Um, I obviously wanna add value to your guys' lives. That's the only reason I'm here. I wanna share, I want us to share not only me with you, but you with each other. So um, I want to like create content for you that you want to see. So your feedback is really helpful and kind of guides me on what I can do to give you guys what you want. So I hope you're having a great day. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.